Welcome to an Operation Ice Bridge Sea Ice Interlude. We start with a visualization of AMSERI data from the Aqua satellite, showing sea ice, or frozen seawater, pulsing over the course of months around the Antarctic continent. Ice Bridge often passes the scenic Antarctic Peninsula on its way to survey the continent's ice sheets, glaciers, and surrounding sea ice. The peninsula's mountains are habitually shrouded by clouds, but today we have a clear view. As we descend, we see vast fields of sea ice. Large pieces of sea ice are called flows, and these formations often collide, creating thick ridges along their edges or raft over top of each other. This ice appears to be thick enough to be second year ice, or ice which survived a summer melt season. Darker, grayer ice appears to be more recent and might be around 10 centimeters thick, while the white ice covered by snow is probably more than 30 centimeters thick. The area in the lower center here is so smooth, it might be just a few hours old. This is frazzle ice. It's granular like a slushy beverage and is created by very dynamic conditions of turbulence in the water. This is a region of brash, containing sea ice and a few icebergs. IceBridge measures Antarctic ice from 500 meters above the surface using radar, laser altimetry, and these crisp images from the DMS, or Digital Mapping System. Here, we have ice that's holding fast to the shore, and a mobilizing iceberg is created from a nearby glacier or ice shelf. These slabs of ice from continental ice shelves, sticking above the water by perhaps 50 meters, are large and flat enough to be called tabular bergs. Finally, the slowly setting sun lights up cracks or leads in the sea ice as we head for home.